Вітаю, шановні українці. Hello dear Ukrainians. Today is March 13, 2022, 9 a.m. and we are starting movement by the following humanitarian roads. Yesterday, as you remember, a humanitarian convoy left Zaporizhia for Mariupol via Berdyansk. They are now in Berdyansk, moving in the direction of Mariupol. And I sincerely hope that in the evening I will report on the positive result. Next, let us talk about the Kyiv direction. Today, 25 buses will be sent from the city of Borodyanka of Kyiv region to the city of Zhitomer to evacuate people. The buses will be sent from Peskivka to Borodyanka from the village Svitilnya of Kyiv region in the direction of the city of Brovary. Svitilnya, Ploske, Pocholiv, Krasilivka, Kvitneva, Brovary. Buses to evacuate people will be sent on the road from the city of Brovary. From the village Peremoha of Kyiv region in the direction of the city of Kyiv, Peremoha, Lukyanivka, Lukashi, Kornivka, Nedra, Sadova, Berezany, Borispil, Kyiv. Buses for vacation of people will be sent on the road from the city of Kyiv. From the village of Velika Dimerka towards the city of Bravary, buses to evacuate people will be sent by road from the city of Bravary. Luhansk region, from the town of Kremenna to Liman, gathering point from Bakhmut, buses to evacuate people will be sent from the town of Bakhmut. From the city of Rubizhne, Luhansk region to the city of Slovyansk, Donetsk region, Rubizhne, Severodonetsk, Lysychansk, Slovyansk via Bakhmut. From the city of Popasna, Luhansk region, to the city of Slovyansk, Donetsk region. This is Popasna, Bakhmut, Slovyansk. From the village of Hirske in Luhansk region, to the city of Slovyansk in the Donetsk region. Hirske, Lysychansk, Bakhmut, Slovyansk. From the town of Shastya in Luhansk region, to the city of Slovyansk in the Donetsk region. Shastya, Novaidar, Severodonetsk, Lysychansk, Slovyansk. I would like to know that the civil military administration's head reports that shelling is now going on in Severodonetsk. We sincerely hope that the shelling will stop, the ceasefire regime will be maintained, and we will begin the on-time evacuation of people. Here are the main roads that will operate today. I would also like to appeal to the people who, because of feeling of danger for their lives and health, decide not to go through the humanitarian corridors that open daily and unfortunately cannot cover the entire territory of both Kyiv region and Luhansk and other regions from where people would like to leave their homes. Unfortunately, it is impossible to do so quickly and safely for their lives, so please listen to the information we provide. And if there is an open humanitarian corridor, search for our information through alerts, through people, through groups that you are in. Because to do otherwise would be dangerous to your life, to the lives of your children, your family and friends. I draw attention again and again to the fact that the Russian Federation has to release Oleksiy Danchenko, an employee of the State Emergency Situation Service, who was accompanying the convoy on the agreed humanitarian road in Belogorodka. Now he's on the territory of the glass factory in Hostomel. We demand the release of Alexei Danchenko. We agreed on this humanitarian road, and he did his work according to the agreements. Thank you all. See you tonight. I will report the results. Everything will be Ukraine. Take care.